It's been a wonderful week. You've been on um, the roles of fathers in the life of their son, consequences of um, sons that was raised without the, with the absence of a father, and today you were doing of daughters. Why, is, why are you so passionate about this topic? Because when I was a young man, right. I was always, I was watching American television. Yeah. And no Hollywood. And the way it came across to me, at least, I, I think it was not just to me, but to most people who are watching television, is that women are there for the taking. Okay. So, even when I read, read I used to read a lot of detectives. Okay. There is a, a writer, they call uh, uh, Ad Adlishes or something like that. Uh, yeah, something Adlishes, James Adlishes, I think, James Ad okay. Adlishes. I used to read all, and then uh, Agatha Christie. So all those detectives, they used to have every time have something to do with men and women. Okay. And the way they used to have that, I mean, use all this, and all these writers are just writing about describing the body of the woman and the man going after her and conquering her and subduing her and winning her over and making love and all those things. So when I came to Christ, even being I didn't even know the difference between a woman and a man so much. Right. Being a, 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 in Christ and being a believer, I just thought that, you know, you are not just supposed to sin because it's a, it's a commandment. Right. But I didn't have understanding. You know, when you have understanding, it's much more easier. Mm -hmm. you, you know, but when it's just a law, you do it, but, you know, you still have a lot of questions and you have a lot of pain. So, but the first time I heard somebody say that when ladies uh, wear open dress, that they are not looking for women, they are not looking for men, but they are just trying to, you no, know, to display them, themselves, not their body, but themselves who are inside. I didn't. It surprised me because it, all men will tell you they never even thought about that. They, the only way men think is that if a woman, even if she is not expo exposing her body, if she's just beautiful, or she dresses up, they just think it's about them are wanting to sleep with the men, okay. or wanting to men. So it's a misconception that is pervasive in our own world. So that is one reason, it's totally misguided. And I just discovered that women are not evil, they are not promiscuous, because since I was a child like this, I've been hearing that women are prostitutes, women are prostitu uh, promiscuous, as if that's their general nature. Even up to the last two weeks, I still saw a woman who is, an, who is a popular person in Nigeria, Nollywood, that came up on uh, Facebook and said that we women are all prostitutes. So don't, be just, don't just blame the Nollywood actresses. Ooh. We are all like that. <laughs> so, but it's horrible to be saying that about yourself. And, but okay, if you, if you are a prostitute, but don't put all women on that. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, but then when I began to, be, before I, the second reason why I went deep into that, when I began to really study that topic, when I heard that, it was a sh surprising to, thing to me that the ladies are not really looking for sex, they are looking for a father. So that was a big surprise. But when I was about to marry, I was determined to be successful. And I said, I will study everything I need to study about the nature of women and about the nature of men so that I'll be able to understand my wife better. And so that no matter who I marry, even if she's a little demon or a devil, <laughs> okay. she, I will still be, she will still be happy and I will be happy. Right. And that was my determination. And so when I started studying, I began to discover that my God, the whole world doesn't even know the composition of men and women. We don't even know how... Uh, how different we are. We don't know ourselves. Even men don't know themselves, and the women don't know themselves. And so I made, you know, and the one thing with me is that if I st start studying any subject, I am very thorough. I go to you the, too. yes, yeah. I go to right. the very, in fact, I go and study so much. Some, one time, I, I've studied a subject that somebody spoke to me about first. He gave me his book, and I read it, and I went to study that subject so much that the next time I met him, he was saying that he needed to learn from me now. Mm -hmm. He didn't know that I won't learn from him at the beginning. So that's how I do. I go deep into the subject. In fact, I am so uh, thorough in this subject now that I don't know. 
any human being, one person whom I know as much. You know, there might be many different information from different places, but for one person to know as much, it will be tough. <laughs> yeah, because the, from the in-depth, the way you go deep into it and your analysis, I really have not had a teaching like that from anyone before. It's always more like, you know, they know a little something about yeah. this and that, but the whole connection and how detailed, the whole analysis and... And when you not look to it, you'll be like, ah, so this is the, it's actually true because it's reality. People are testifying to this thing. People are coming forward to say, okay, this happened to me. I lived like this, but I never knew what, what was, was happening. happening. So yeah, I couldn't give a name to it, but this is what I've been experiencing in my life. This is what my son is experiencing. So it's, it's amazing. So it's not like it's some sort of theories that is just out of the blue or know, some it's assumptions. Practical. It's practical, real life stories and tangible. But like most of my teachers. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I tried to practical in most <laughs> of my true. teachers. That's true. Wow, it's been a mind blowing one. But what is going to confuse a lot of women, because both women don't know that. And I did myself, I didn't know that. So when I see ladies that just dress half naked. Do people condemn them? Yeah, it, what comes into my mind is not, for me, it was not really like a prostitute. I just see the person as someone that is not well cultured. That's how I see it. More like the person is trying to, the, the, the word they, they use deeper. is, yeah, they is trying to seduce men, but not knowing that there are, are deeper, deeper roots and yeah, problems yeah. to those issues. And, you know, people just, you know, those who are supposed to help just condemn them or maybe scold them or rebuke them. I've seen issues of sometimes when pastors will even walk such ladies from the church and call them <laughs> demon, rebuke them, you know, things like that. From the church? Yeah. I've seen from cases like that. From the stage maybe, but not from the church. It's which stage? I'm talking about from the... <laughs> Do you want to defy the church? I can't believe it. I can't so believe it. this one now is not more like dressing openly, but just that you're wearing trousers. trousers. Yeah, you cannot enter the mission premises, <laughs> not to talk of entering the church. So yeah, these are the things that, you know, we need to know if you're going to be able to reach out to those people and help them. You know, I'll tell you concerning the ladies, mm -hmm. we experimented this. Oh, okay. One time, we did a seminar about relationship between boys and girls, okay. and then for youth. So I wanted to convince the, the men that they are not supposed to be taking advantage of the ladies and sleeping with them. That is not sex that women have. Right. They say it's not possible. They, they say, but what, what about prostitutes? That's their job now. I said, okay, let us try it. Okay. So we took 200 people, boys and girls, and went to the street just looking for prostitutes and people, we only stop people who, who are exposing, who expose themselves in their dressing, who are wearing things like this and no, no, no shirt, no top almost, you know, the way white people dress right. it. Mm -hmm. So, and all the 200 people, we went out from two o'clock to seven o'clock and everybody made two, two people we are supposed to talk to, two boys, one girl, two. And, you know, first of all, the, the prostitutes, they would think that they were coming for clients. Right. And then when we begin to talk about, we, I told them, I instructed them, talk to the inner man, right. to the person. All of them started crying. They started breaking down, telling their stories, their families, their upbringing. What led them to this? They forgot about money altogether. In fact, some of them, we now decided that, okay, since we took your time, because that time you're supposed to get with clients, so let's pay you. Let's just bless you. We don't need money. We, 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 this is what we needed, what you gave us attention. You wow. noticed me, me, I. Nobody ever noticed us. They only say our body. Wow, wow, wow. 